What's up guys, welcome to your 176th Android tutorial for the new Boston. And we're getting close to actually, you know, putting our, our triangle on the on the emulator there so we can see it. Uh, we basically have set up everything that we need for a triangle class. So we're just going to, you know, go over to our renderer class because this is where all the magic's going to happen. Um, and what we need to do is first reference that triangle somehow. So we're just going to build a constructor for this class as well. Um, because again, our activity is, uh, you know, calling this class. So we want to make sure we have a constructor, constructor as well that sets up our triangle. So we're just going to say public, public gl uh, render ex. And then all we're going to do is set up our triangle within here. And you got to make sure you spell it right, obviously. And so we want to set up a triangle instance as well. We're going to set this to be private. Um, we're just going to say GL triangle EX. We're going to call it try, something like that. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to set our try within our constructor equal to a new triangle or a uh, new instance of that class. And there we go. Now we have our triangle object within our renderer and again we created a draw method within our triangle so within our on draw frame all we have to do is basically say well I shouldn't say all because uh, as you'll see here in a second it won't actually pr print this to the screen yet but it is actually drawing it in OpenGL so what we're going to do is we're going to refer to our triangle and just say dot draw and we're going to pass in again the GL10 object that we're being passed in within this method so uh, you know it's pretty pretty simple um, again we get this GL object that's being passed in and we just pass that into our triangle to create our triangle and set it up and all that good stuff uh, we have that draw method within there so that's what that's doing but even if we run the application right now even if we run the application right now um, we just get all red we can't see anything we don't know where our triangles at all that good stuff and uh, the problem is is let me go back to blender and again, we are drawing our triangle, but you know we might have a different perspective. Um, you know, for example, our camera right here is looking at the square. But let's say we move to a mode where uh, you know our camera is looking in, off into the distance over here instead of you know at our at our actual uh, square. So that's kind of what's happening. Um, so in the next few tutorials, we're going to learn how to glue the camera. Uh, to look at a certain position, we're also going to set up our viewport so we know how how wide it is, and set up our you know projection so it's not all uh, skewed. But uh, yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. I know it was a pretty simple tutorial where we just set up our triangle and drew it. Um, but again, hopefully you guys understand a little bit more about the GL just uh, because you know it seems like it should be printing to the screen which it is, but we can't actually see it because we don't know where our camera is looking and all that good stuff. So I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Hope you have a good one, and see you later. All right, and also because we didn't really talk about too much, I'm just going to add a little bit more to this tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, <clears throat> basically uh, when we create a render uh, of some sort or a GL, um, open GL, you know, class, um, it loads it with some default stuff that might even hinder performance. So we're actually going to give us some space space within our on surface created, and we're just going to say gl dot disable because we don't want you know everything that they give us. Um, sorry, it's gl disable, and uh, what we're going to disable is the dither. So um, we're going to relate to the gl ten class dot uh, gl underscore uh, dither, and that's just going to speed up our performance a little bit, and uh, you know not worry so much about the quality but um, you know worry a little bit more about the performance and also we can just elaborate a little bit more by saying gl.gl hint and we have to reference a target so we're going to say gl10 dot uh, gl underscore perspective perspective um, correction hint and then for the mode what we're going to do is gl10 dot uh, GL underscore fastest. That's just going to again boost our performance a little bit more and not worry about the the quality as much. Um, so there's just a quick you know add on to this tutorial. Again, you guys might want to just copy this uh, this dither line and put it within your on draw method. 
or on draw frame method or something. But uh, there you go, and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial, and hope you have a good one. See you later.